Hey everyone, Abhishek here and uh, I just wanted to record a quick video. Um, so I was working on Vim's uh, lazy, new Vim's lazy loading this morning with the lazy plugin and I just wanted to show the results. Um, so if you see right now I'm on my main branch and if I load Vim it loads 79 of my plugins and it takes about 200 millisecond site and this is without a file let's try to open a simple file and it dot lua and then check the lazy profile so here it says 218 milliseconds which is not really that bad but the problem was that uh, i also run new vim on termux 2k which is uh, Android uh, version of my dot files right and those devices these numbers really add up so there I was seeing load times around 800 milliseconds to uh, 1.2 seconds so yeah I found the fault in my ways uh, and I'll show you what the fix looks like now so this is a new branch that I was working on this morning and here I've implemented lazy loading. So let's open new web without any arguments first of all. So previously we were seeing load times of uh, 200 milliseconds here and now it's almost half. It's 103 and you can see the number of loaded plugins. It came down from I think 78 or something to 38. So almost half here as well and if we try to open up a file uh, let's see the profile so yeah here as well it came down from 200 milliseconds to 121 milliseconds uh, and i'll show you how i did it so the problem was that earlier i was actually loading off all of and this is a pr that i created i'll have it linked in the video as well but the problem was uh, initially I was loading all the plugins regardless of whether I needed them or not in this enable.lua file uh, and you can see that I was directly loading it but now what I did was instead of that I yeah, you can see this is the enable.lua file but if you see the new so now that enable.lua file is completely gone and the plugin specs of uh, lazy right which for me are stored in this install.lua file they themselves are holding uh, all of the details so so now instead of loading the config in enabled i have for each of the plugins i have a config block here which simply loads the configs and for almost all of them you'll see a particular event a particular command or a particular key binding or file type assigned so what this lets me do is it lets me load these plugins only when i need them instead of loading them all at once in the beginning so yeah uh, with this i did see a couple of uh, like almost more than 50 to 60 percent performance improvements on startup uh, in new event although it, it doesn't matter as much because it's still very very less but yeah i just wanted to do things the right way and you can take a look at this pr if you want uh, i may do some more cleaning up on the plugins and remove a couple that i don't use as much now and just uh, sort the plugin list or something so yeah uh, just wanted to make a quick video and i'll be merging in this pr pretty soon so yeah uh, thanks for watching and you can hit subscribe if you want more terminal and new content all right bye